The question is, this electron configuration here, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, what element does this correspond to on the periodic table? And there's two ways we can figure this out. The first is just count the electrons up. We have 2 plus 2 plus 6, 2 and 6. When we add all of those up together, we get 18 total electrons for this configuration here. Because all of the elements here on the periodic table are neutral, the number of electrons and protons are equal. So if we have 18 electrons here, we could look at the atomic number 18, and that would mean it has 18 protons, 18 electrons. So this configuration corresponds to the element argon on the periodic table. There's another way we could do this. We could look at the periodic table broken down into orbital blocks. So here's our periodic table. We can see we have our S block, D block, P block. So when we look at this, all of these end in S1, S2, then we go 3D1 all the way to 3D10 because D, that can hold up to 10 electrons. And then P, which can hold up to six, we have P1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In our configuration, we have 3P6. So we need to find that on the periodic table. So 1, 2, 3 across P1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this element here represents this electron configuration. Let's go back to the periodic table with the elements written in. So just like we found before, we have atomic number 18, which is argon. So the electron configuration for 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, that is argon. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.